Cage Janesville was known for its cars. And over the years, it was the love of all things automotive that brought people together. Rock County reporter Adam Duxter joins us from our bureau at the Janesville Gazette with how that bond led to an impromptu car show for a good cause. Adam? Well, Eric and Charlotte, loving cars is about a lot more than horsepower, maker model, or what's under the hood. Today in Janesville, loving cars just meant showing love to someone who needed it. Some people might say it's uncommon to see a classic car out in December, but don't tell that to the people of Janesville. Here, cars are a conversation starter. Car guys and guys that love fast motors, they always can chat. They always can talk about something. Just ask Brian Reese. I went from 11 miles to the gallon to 21 miles to the gallon. Brian and his wife Anne consider their 1950s Chevy their daughter. They've named it and they love it like it's their own. Car people are really tight. Which is why they're here today at an impromptu car show in the middle of winter at Schneider Funeral Home, where they came to honor a man they've never met. That's all he, he talked about the most, is his love of cars. Roger Clements, a former General Motors employee, died from cancer last week at the age of 82. He had almost no immediate family. But Roger's caretaker didn't want his funeral to be like many of the others she's seen, where no one shows up. She came to me and said, Neil, we have to do more for him. And I said, absolutely, what do we need? And she goes, do you know anyone with like old cars or classic cars? And Neil put the idea out on Facebook. And sure enough, classic car show made its way to Janesville in the middle of winter. He would have been right there. He would have been sitting probably in every one of those cars. And as Roger made his final exit, a send off that any car lover would appreciate. And Brian and Ann say their 1950s Chevrolet was made at the GM plant right here in Janesville. And based on the years Roger worked there, they say it's likely he was probably one of the builders. And Brian says he has no doubt that him and Roger have crossed paths at some point before today. Adam Duxter in the Rock County Bureau tonight. Adam, thank you.